Welcome back to the End of Days Chronicles channel. Throughout history, religious texts have handed down tales of the Antichrist, a malevolent being that has both frightened and intrigued believers around the world. Let's take a moment to imagine that this entity is already present among us, concealed within a specific and unique location, the Kaaba, which resides at the pulsating core of Mecca. This surprising and unexpected hypothesis has been explored in certain interpretations of biblical texts, which uncover astonishing truths behind these mysteries. Now, let's contemplate who or what might be inside the Kaaba. Every day, Muslims worldwide face Mecca in prayer, displaying their faith five times a day. Mecca, the birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad, holds immense importance as a sacred site in Islam, representing spirituality. However, it is the Kaaba itself that draws the attention of pilgrims, who seek a profound spiritual connection not only with Mecca but also with this ancient and mysterious object of worship. The Kaaba, standing at the heart of Mecca, transcends its architectural form to become a mosque infused with deep spiritual symbolism. Allow me to disclose a secret about this sanctuary, it houses a mysterious artifact called the Black Stone. Over the centuries, this relic has captivated people's imaginations and sparked various theories about its origin and significance. The enigma surrounding the Black Stone is profound and guarded by a select group of initiates within the sacred walls of the Kaaba. This enigmatic object, steeped in ancient traditions, unveils its secrets only to a chosen few, including Jesus, an influential figure in religious scriptures renowned for his extraordinary ability to unravel divine mysteries and prophecies. In the sacred texts, Jesus is depicted as someone who possesses profound knowledge of the hidden mysteries found within the Bible. He serves as a voice of caution, particularly highlighting the dangers posed by the Apocalypse's beast. This theme becomes especially relevant when examining biblical figures like Baal, Beelzebub, and the Antichrist, all of whom symbolize evil and spiritual decline. The Apocalypse, a vital component of the New Testament narrative, is rich with symbolism and apocalyptic visions, particularly in Revelation chapter 13 14. According to the King James Version, there is mention of a deceptive image that leads the people of the earth astray, causing them to worship the beast, a figure that emerges from a fatal wound. The text continues, weaving its story with profound metaphors and symbolism. For instance, in Revelation 19 verse 15 and 16, a sword is discussed, often regarded as a symbol of justice and divine truth emanating from Christ. The narrative becomes even more intricate and mysterious in the book of Revelation, particularly in chapter 17 colon 8. It describes the appearance of an enigmatic creature, the beast with multiple heads emerging from unknown abysses. This appearance surprises those who are unaware of ancient prophecies. The beast, existing in ancient times but absent in the present, is destined to return, symbolizing a mystery that challenges conventional notions of time. Its return will be a shocking event for those whose names are not written in the Book of Life, as they anticipate both its resurrection and ultimate defeat. Shifting our attention from Christianity to Islam, we encounter an object of profound veneration and mystery, the black stone located within the Kaaba in Mecca. While some Islamic interpretations attribute a divine origin to it, there exists a less conventional and darker theory. According to this hypothesis, the black stone is not a sacred fragment sent from the heavens but rather a relic associated with the downfall of a malevolent figure, possibly connected to Baal, an ancient deity once revered but now regarded as a symbol of idolatry and deviation from true monotheistic faith. According to this theory, Baal, who was expelled from paradise, is believed to have his essence trapped within the black stone, thus turning it into a symbol of temptation and spiritual corruption. This concept brings together biblical prophecies and Islamic traditions, intertwining faith interpretation and the quest for truth in a complex and profound manner. Ancient records describe the existence of a disobedient and powerful entity that was banished to the dark regions known as the Abyss or Sheol in certain cultures. This legend, perpetuated by visionaries and teachers throughout history, culminates in the struggle between order and chaos, with ancient scriptures assuring the ultimate victory of light in apocalyptic prophecies, particularly found in the Book of Revelation. In accordance with Revelation 19 verse 20 in the King James Version of the Bible, false prophets and malevolent entities will be defeated and cast into the lake of fire, symbolizing final judgment and purification. The Apostle Paul also discusses this cosmic battle in his epistles, mentioning the figure of the men of lawlessness, who will be restrained until the opportune moment for his manifestation. The narrative extends to the sacred location of the Black Stone in Mecca, a place of reverence and belief. While it currently holds a central role in the spiritual practices of many, layers of history reveal that this place was once a convergence point for ancient civilizations, where pagan temples stood and prayers were offered to misguided deities. 
In his teachings, Jesus warned about the challenges and trials that would arise, using metaphors and stories to convey an understanding of the heavenly kingdom. One such story is the parable of the farmer who sowed good seeds in his field, but an enemy sowed seeds of weeds during the night. Jesus explained that the good seeds represent people who follow the path of righteousness, while the weeds symbolize those who follow the path of wickedness influenced by the evil one. At the end of time, there will be a definitive separation between good and evil, with the weeds being uprooted and destroyed while the weed is carefully gathered and preserved. In his revelations, Jesus introduces the figure of the Great Adversary, a complex entity mentioned in various scriptures. In the book of Daniel, he is referred to as the Little Horn, Daniel 8 verse 9, and the Prince who is to come, Daniel 9 verse 26. In other accounts, such as 1 Kings 16 verse 32, he is associated with the pagan god Baal, and in Psalm 91 verse 13, he is likened to a mighty lion. These teachings of Jesus serve as warnings and guidance for the challenging times ahead, emphasizing the necessity of vigilance and faithfulness to the principles of the heavenly kingdom. Building upon these extraordinary revelations, the mentioned entity is identified as the formidable beast in the book of Revelation, Revelation 13 verse 1, and referred to as the men of sin in 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3. According to Matthew 12 verse 24, this entity is named Beelzebub, the leader of demons, and is also described as the strongman in verse 29. This malevolent being is recognized as the Antichrist, a force that emerges in direct opposition to Jesus Christ, seeking to corrupt the true essence of his redemptive sacrifice. In this context, the portrayal of Allah in the Quran is perceived as a personification of this adversarial spirit, representing the figure of the Antichrist. I encourage everyone to remain steadfast and not yield to fear, as Jesus assures us of a future where justice will prevail. He teaches us that in the final days, angels will act as divine selectors, separating the righteous from the wicked. Those who follow the path of righteousness will radiate with the glory of their heavenly Father, while the wicked, symbolized by the chaff, will be cast into the eternal fire, a place of sorrow and anguish. In its thirteenth chapter, the Apocalypse introduces us to two enigmatic and terrifying figures. The first is the beast, symbolizing the Antichrist, and the second is the false prophet who arises to support and propagate the Antichrist's deceit. These two entities work in tandem, forming a malevolent alliance that seeks to mimic the holiness of the Trinity. It is worth noting that in the Greek language, the prefix anti can signify not only opposition but also the concept of substitution or representation. Therefore, when the Antichrist emerges on the world stage, he will not present himself as a direct adversary of Christ, but rather as a cunning substitute. He will proclaim himself as the long-awaited Messiah and Savior, enticing individuals from diverse beliefs and religious backgrounds, with the intention of deceiving and leading many astray from the true path. Nevertheless, there is no need to fear, for God has assured that those appointed for protection will be taken away from the earth with the arrival of the Lord from heaven. This remarkable event will transpire at the sound of a supreme command, the voice of the archangel, and the resounding divine trumpet. Those who have died with faith in Christ will rise first, followed by those who are alive, as they are caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the heavens, where they will be eternally united with Him. Contrary to what numerous fictional stories suggest, there will be no second opportunity for salvation for those who remain on earth. According to the words of Jesus in Revelation, the names of those who are left behind will not be recorded in the Lamb's Book of Life. However, the most significant aspect to observe lies ahead, and it is of utmost importance to pay close attention in order to comprehend the astonishing revelation that unfolds. This truth is emphasized in the book of Revelation, specifically in chapter 13 colon 8 and chapter 17 colon 8. Jesus prophesied that all the inhabitants of the earth, except those whose names are written in the book of life, will worship the beast. This prophetic vision is reaffirmed in Revelation 17 verse 8, highlighting the astonishment of those whose names are not in the book of life when they witness the return of the beast. In the Christian faith, the belief in redemption through the sacrifice of Jesus is foundational and regarded as the only path to salvation. Any belief system or religious teaching that denies or alters this central belief is seen as distorting the true role of Christ. For instance, Islam, as depicted in the Quran, presents an alternative perspective on Jesus without endorsing the concept of his redemptive role. In contrast, the Bible presents Jesus as the Divine Son, the Mediator, the Redeemer, the Living Word, the Crucified Savior, and the Resurrected Lord. The correlation between Jesus and the 351 Old Testament biblical prophecies is not seen as coincidental, but rather as evidence of his divinity and the validity of his mission. 
It is important to recognize the portrayal of Jesus in the Holy Scriptures, which conveys a message of boundless love and redemption, and to differentiate it from other interpretations that may seek to diminish or alter the significance of his sacrifice. The Dome of the Rock, located in Jerusalem, holds historical and religious significance, particularly in the Islamic faith. It is revered as the site of Muhammad's ascension to heaven. Beyond its impressive architectural features, this site is entangled in debates and controversies that extend beyond its grand appearance, encompassing intricate religious and historical issues. Within the structure, there is an Arabic inscription, which carries great importance in the Islamic faith. It addresses the people of the book, a term in Islam referring to Jews and Christians. The inscription emphasizes the uniqueness of Allah and identifies Jesus, referred to as the Messiah and the Son of Mary, as a divine messenger, a word from Allah given to Mary, and a spirit from him. The inscription encourages faith in Allah and his messengers while discouraging acceptance of the Trinity, reaffirming the belief in the singular nature of Allah without offspring. This interpretation sharply contrasts with Christian beliefs regarding the divinity of Christ and the concept of the Holy Trinity. Disregarding the divine nature of Christ or the Trinity is considered a significant error and is sometimes attributed to malevolent influences. This perspective is supported by biblical passages such as Matthew 24 verse 1 in the King James Version of the Bible, where Jesus predicts the destruction of the Temple in Jerusalem, symbolizing the rejection of structures and doctrines that deviate from divine truth. For many Christians, this also signifies the promise of Christ's return and the judgment of false prophets, strengthening the belief in the imminent second coming of Jesus and the subsequent affirmation of true faith. Thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.